Hey guys, welcome back to Bronson's Math Club. Today's topic is what are corresponding angles? So corresponding angles are two angles that are in the same corners when a line crosses two other lines. So let me show you what I mean. So here we have a green line and this is called the transversal line. So this green line is crossing two other parallel lines. So it's forming a total of eight angles. So why don't we go ahead and name the angles first. So we have angle number one, angle number two, angle three, angle four, five, six, seven, and eight. So here are the eight angles. Now, corresponding angles are angles that are in the same corners, okay? So corresponding angles are not angles that are the same measurement, but the angles that are in the same corners. So right now, uh, for example, I see that angle number one is in the upper left corner because it's above its line and on its left side. So it's on the upper left corner. In the same way, angle number five is above the line and on its left side. So it's also in the upper left corner. So angle number one and angle number five are two corresponding angles, right? In the same way, angle number four is below the line and on its right side and also angle number eight is below the line and on its right side so angle number four and angle number eight are also two corresponding angles in the same way we have angle number two and we have angle number six and also we have angle number three and we have angle number seven so these are uh four of the corresponding angles okay so these are two angles that are in the same corners when the line crosses two other lines okay so this is what corresponding angles are so now we've seen a transversal line cross two parallel lines but what uh, what about a uh, transversal line crossing two intersecting lines okay so um does anything change well no First, let's go ahead and find our eight angles, okay? So we have, we have angle number one, angle number two, angle number three, angle number four, and then we have angle number five, angle number six, angle number seven, and angle number eight, okay? So here's our eight angles. Now, corresponding angles will be the angles in the same corners, okay? So as we can see here, angle number three is below the line and on its left side, okay? So here's angle number three. And also, angle number seven is below the line and on its right side. So here's angle number seven. So angle number three and angle number seven are two corresponding angles because, because they're in the same corners, right? Um, both of them are below the lines and on the left side. So these are this is an example of uh, corresponding angles. So remember, corresponding angles are angles that are in the same corners when the line crosses two other lines, okay? Corresponding angles, again, do not mean the same, that they have the same measurements but that they are in the same corners, okay? So thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.